Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at sleeping from warm-up one, and this is the Java solution. The problem states the parameter weekday is true if it is a weekday, and the parameter vacation is true if we are on vacation. We sleep in if it is not a weekday or we're on vacation. Return true if we sleep in. So to make sure we understand this, let's just come down here and look at this method header, and we see that the first parameter is a Boolean called weekday. So that will be true if it's a weekday and false if it's not a weekday. The second parameter is vacation. Again, in the Boolean, that will be true if we're on vacation, false if we're not on vacation. And we can come up and make sense of these samples here. So false, meaning it is not a weekday, and false, meaning we are not on vacation, so we return true because we sleep in, because it's not the weekday. Second example, true, because it is a weekday. False means we're not on vacation, therefore we don't sleep in. And then finally, in the third example, false, because it is not a weekday, and true, meaning we are on vacation, so we sleep in. Now this is a great problem for programmers that are just starting to learn how to do this, because we start with this longer approach and then we kind of simplify it down. And this is a great opportunity to understand what a truth table is. A truth table is a way of mapping out all possibilities, um, and then we can code for each of those. And that's what I call the long approach here. So because we have this Boolean situation, you know, they can be only true or false, we can map out all possibilities with two of them. Um, and we see that we have a possibility of false, false, and that was going to return true. We have false, true, which will return true. We have true, false, which will return false. And we have true, true, which will return true. And we can just code for each of those. Now, before I actually code for that, I really want to give a strong recommendation. If you're setting up a truth table, I really do recommend that you make your first column false, true, false, true, and your second column false, false, true, true. Um, this is a standard way of setting up the table than if you're working with anyone. And there's actually a pattern that you can do as you extend the number of parameters, which I'm not going to get into here. All right, so let's just code for all of these. So we're going to say if weekday is equivalent to false and vacation is equivalent to false, well, in that case, we're going to return true. And then I'm going to write the second one. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to say if weekday is false and vacation is true, well, we return true again, and we'll take the next one. So if weekday is true and vacation is false, we return false. And then the last case, if weekday is true and vacation is true. We return true. Now, if I run this, I'm going to get an error. And so let me show you what happens here. We get a missing return statement. And this is a really important thing to understand in Java. Even though every possibility is mapped to, and we know that one of these statements will evaluate to true, Java doesn't know that. So one way around this is I can put a return true at the bottom. And I know it will never reach this line, never be reached, because one of these has to be true. And therefore, I'll always enter one of the if statements. And if I hit go, this works. Now, a little nicer way to do this, to be honest, would be to change these all to else ifs. So I make that else if, I make that an else if. And then this last one, I'm just going to make an else. And this last else now, it works because what it does is it recognizes this as a, as a block, a conditional block. And that it knows that if it doesn't go into the first three, it has it knows what to do. And so that's a little bit of a cleaner way to do this. Now, one of the things, um, again, that's really great about this problem for a beginning programmer is it teaches them to understand how to set up this truth table and then practice their if statements to map out all possibilities. But there's a better way to do this. And what it is, is to identify from this truth table a pattern. And what we see here is that there's only one case where we return false. So what I'm going to do here is, instead of checking every possibility, I'm just going to check for that one possibility where we return false, and then otherwise I'm going to return true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these first two cases, and I'm going to make this just a straight up if. And I hit go. And it works. Now again, the reason why this works is because I've noticed that there's a pattern here, and that all cases except for this one, we return true. And so what I've done here is I've actually gone and I've you know, I've, I've checked that one case, and if I don't get that case, I know I have to return true. Now let's clean this up a little bit more. 
Again, these are Booleans, which I'm evaluating. So again, we want to get used to the fact that since this is a Boolean value, I can just say if weekday. And if I wanted the shorthand for checking if vacation is false, I can say if not false. Sorry, not vacation. And so what this does is this is the same as saying if weekday is equivalent to true, and this is the same as saying if vacation is equivalent to false, because this not value inverts it. It changes it from true to false. Um, I probably wouldn't put this, I wouldn't make this an else here, because again, I like to make this a catch-all return statement, and we notice it still works. I don't need these braces because that conditional statement has a single line of conditional logic, and of course it works. And then what I can say is, well, I notice that this if statement evaluates a Boolean expression and returns it. So I could actually take this and type in a return here and change this. Now you're going to notice that I'm not going to get this right, because if I hit go, well, first off, I forgot a semicolon, which we'll add, but you'll notice every case it's inverted. And that's because if this, if I just go back to what I had here, if this evaluates to true, I return false. So what I can do here is, again, I'm going to make this a return, but what I want to do is I want to invert whatever this evaluates to. So what I can do here is I can put a, a not sign in front of there, and it's going to say not weekday and not vacation. And I hit go, and there's our one-liner. I hope you saw with this how it kind of worked from that kind of that, that large number of if statements that dealt with every situation and narrowed this down to one a one-liner. Often students, when they're first learning how to code, they jump right to here. And a lot of times they can do that. But what happens is you want to understand how to get to this point, because as problems get more complicated, understanding the process is really important. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.